Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game expansion review. Today's game for the expansions, we'll be talking about Master of Wills, the two to four player game, and we'll be talking about three expansions, uh, Shadow Cell, Dawn Light, and Cloud Echo. In Master of Wills, you're playing as basically a game of uh, unique tug of war, in which you're trying to gather all the uh, community cards you can and put them into your ally section, and your opponent's doing the same. Based on the cards you choose in the neutral area will determine where other cards move around to, and if you can gather as many points as possible at the end of the game more than your opponent you're going to win now what three new expansions are there well there's going to be cloud echo this is their most new one and has the most interesting different effects with it then of course you've got dawn light which affects mainly a lot of killing and a lot of uh destroying effects and then you have shadow cell which is going to be more so about moving giving your opponent a plus one but giving yourself a plus two and you can choose between any of these additional decks the first two they start off with is alpha guard and razor corp which you're going to get in the starting game which is blue and red Red, and of course a big stack of community cards with the base game as well uh, you're not going to need to have anything additional to play the game but the expansions give you a variety of different factions to choose from which then you can use their cards based on the community members you move to affect the game in their own unique way anyway let's go ahead and take a look down below and I'll show you the different factions and what is going to be included with them as well as the fact that you can also pick up some booster packs but they're all the exact same cards in each of the packs along with a specific foil of the cards all right master of wells expansions down below let's go so here is Master of Wills and all the expansions I have to talk about today. As you can see, you have Razor Corp and Alpha Guard here. These are the base corporations you can start with. Each player is going to choose one of these, or each team will choose one of these, and you'll begin playing. You're also going to have this big stack of community cards, which are going to shuffle up and deal out six in the middle here. These are the three expansions. Now, if you want to know how to play the game Master of Wills, go ahead and check out my review of the game uh, in the description below, and it'll show you how to play the game. In this video, we're just going to be talking about the three expansions, though, Shadow Cell, Don light and cloud echo along with the fact that they're making an application of course what's also nice about this game too is it comes with your character little pawn here which moves along for each round after eight rounds the game is over and it'll have little basic instructions how to play the game as well as deck lists that you can choose to utilize or not and you can also choose to make your own deck with the community or with the uh factions uh in in your choice of how you want to do it based on the rules which is right here the rules for the game it's very very simple there's not a lot of explanation because you don't need a lot in order to play this game. So here is going to be, let's talk about Dawn Light first. Dawn Light is going to be doing a lot of kill conditions and most decks are going to come with a bunch of different types of cards. You're going to get green cards, yellow ones, which are your most powerful cards, uh, the color of the faction, which is common, and um, I, I think that is it. Those are the main cards you're going to be getting, as well as oh, gray ones, I suppose. But they all tell you what they do, and when you make your own deck of cards, you'll be able to utilize a certain amount of these guys and every other color as well. You'll be putting these factions in the faction area on one of these sides over here, and you're going to be drawing three of them. And whenever you play, you draw a community card, uh, whenever you move a community card that has a symbol of the faction on it, which is this little symbol right here, right here, whenever you move that to a specific area, at the end you'll be able to utilize one of the cards in your hand after you draw a card from the deck, play one of them, and then do whatever it says. That's pretty much all you're using the faction decks for, but they provide a lot of variability, especially the more powerful ones. It tells you on this what all the different faction powers there are. This one's Move, Gamble, a bonus play, Spy, the Community Draw, Swap, Protection, and Copycat. Whereas something like Shadow Cell is going to have more of an afterlife, a kill, this is lasting effects, round effects, reveal, remove special, uh, valve change, and freeze. Then they tell you exactly what they do, and it's on uh, both sides. It gives you enough information as to what you're going to need. Uh, but they, I guess they're based both, both they, uh, they're the same thing. They just show you all the different abilities here. But the cards are a little different, right? This one's going to be involving you moving your guys around the board, uh, giving your opponent like a, a little boost and pushing your guys over. One of them says giving your opponent, give your opponent one in the recruits, and then you can take two neutral and put them into your allies. They have some very powerful abilities in this one. And then Dawnlight's going to have a lot of kill effects. This one here is interesting. Shuffle all recruits on both sides of the board together and randomly deal them back uh, evenly among the recruits in the rows for both sides. So you could take these guys in these areas here, shuffle them up, and then deal them back down again. That's a very, very powerful card. But there's a lot involving with this specific one, as well as Shadow Cell. They are kind of basically more additional ways to play the game, uh, along with Razor Corp and Alpha Guard. Cloud Echo, on the other hand, is slightly different and also more inter interesting, in my opinion. In this one here, you're actually going to have specific cards that have shields on them, as well as these little star symbols. And depending on the ones you play, if you've played one uh, previously that stays on the board, there's going to be certain cards in here that are going to provide you with some special, specific abilities. Uh, this one here says, 
if this re if a red card is face up on the board, you can just do an extra specific ability. And so that is how it changes with the specific deck, which is different than all the rest of them because it actually provides an interesting new concept of play, putting cards on the board that may not necessarily be as strong, but then in turn playing another card that makes that card worthwhile because now this card gets a special ability. So that is gonna be basically the Cloud Echo. There's also an interesting aspect of being able to pick up the booster pack. There's, there's one for each faction and they're, they're like, I think they're like 12 to 18 cards of the exact same cards along with a specific foil card that you can get which could be any card from any of the sets they're going to look something like that and has a nice foil sheen to them all of the expansion cards are very very nice and a high high quality and you're only ever going to need two of these decks to play so if you ever get bored with just playing with these ones here you can pick up any of these and if you want to as well you can pick up their expanded card pack because you're not going to use all these cards and in fact if you play an actual competitive game you actually get to create your own deck list of cards before playing. So that is the basics of the three new aspects of the game that are coming included with the game Master of or coming included as an expansion of the game Master of Wills. If you're interested in picking any of them up or you like the base game, I strongly suggest checking a look at these. We'll come up and talk about what I think about the expansions and uh, what they do to the game and how it changes and whether or not you should pick up which ones and how you should pick them up. All right, let's go up. All right, so let's go ahead and decide about these expansions here. It's Shadow Cell and Dawnlight. I consider both of these to be just as relevant as any other expansion to a game is where it's just going to give you more cards that do different things. You can only, of course, utilize each of these decks and make their own deck based on the type. So if you want to play with Shadow Cell, you're going to make a deck with Shadow Cell. You can't mix them up. They are different and separate in their own ways, but it provides more variability. With Cloud Echo, however, this one is similar in that aspect, but it also includes a new way of playing, which is placing cards on the field and then utilizing other cards in your hand that give you a bonus for having those specific cards on the field, which is nice interesting and definitely something they, could sh they should consider doing uh, a unique perspective like that for each additional expansion coming forward. As for the booster packs which provide basically more cards that's just something you can do as an extra thing. You're never going to want to pick up two of the uh, green packs provided you don't want the additional foil cards because maybe you want to collect all the foil cards and if that's the case you'll be buying more booster packs. The only problem with that is though you're going to be getting the same cards over and over again so maybe you're going to want to trade them off or, or, or something like that I suppose. Give them to a friend that has Master of Wills as well. You don't get any new additional community cards with any of the expansions you pick up although I don't necessarily think you need to have them because there is a lot of community cards here as there is. Uh, probably more than uh, maybe even two expansion packs put together and you're pre pretty much never going to see the exact same community cards in three or even four games. That's how many of these cards there are. So it's not necessarily needed but it was something that I was like, I wonder why they don't provide us with additional community cards or allow us to make our own community decks and put points on them. I guess that would make it even more complex of a game than it already is. Uh, although not to say it necessarily is all that complex. It's actually fairly simple as far how it goes. And these decks don't make it any more complex. It just gives you more variability. Cloud Echo being the most intriguing one of the bunch. Uh, and that being said, of course, the, the booster packs are something that you can pick up or not pick up. It's not really that important, provided you like what you have. My suggestion is if you really, really enjoy Master of Wills and you want to play it more competitively, play it um, with your friends at home, and you play it over and over again, definitely pick up the expansions. I uh, for a fact would be buying all these expansions with this game after playing it with the first base too because I really 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 enjoy Master of Wills and I like what they've done with it I like the artwork I like the style and I like the different aspects of each of the decks and how I can put together my own unique deck uh, with the two cards though it, two decks so if you are gonna be one of those players who picks up a game and plays maybe once every six months or five months or whatever because you have a ton of games maybe not for you but overall really really cool this game i've always really enjoyed it it's definitely again getting my seal of approval these are also going to be getting the same thing i really really do love master of wills and i hope you do check it out because it's something that's interesting like i said if you don't know what i'm talking about then you probably should go watch my original review of the game it'll explain exactly how to play it but overall yes really cool expansions continue to make more especially like cloud echo i want to see more stuff like this coming in the future all right that's what i got a last quick note too as you can see this box is pretty much going to be full by the time i'm done putting everything in it. It doesn't have enough room for all of the expansions unless you actually cut the box like this is, which is what I did. And I do not think without actually removing all of the inserts from the box that I'll be able to fit any more expansions to the game in. I would hope to see maybe a deluxe edition box where I could put all my expansions and stuff in as opposed to having to mutilate mine. But it does work for having all the expansions
expansions and if you don't mind doing something like this. However, deluxe edition box would be really, really cool for this game so that way it can fit everything nicely and have it look nice. That's just an option. It's not super important, but as you can see, this is how you would have to do it if you wanted to have everything included in the singular box of the game. Master of Wills. All right, now we're done.